let's say you, you treat this like your box. As a linebacker, as a linebacker, I play in that box. You know, I treat it, treat it that way. Those are my tackles. You know, this is just getting my drop points. And one of the best things about this drill is you're always starting in your stance. You're always starting in your position, you know, position of power, you know, the position where you want to be able to make that explosive move. What you typically do is, you know, you have your coach typically training. Table of cones, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, whichever way you'd like to do it. But the first thing you want to do is when you step, you want to stay low and tap. You treat it, treat it just like you're you're making that move that move downhill. Just getting downhill to make sure you're you're getting to that guy, getting to the hole. You tap, and then the point of it is <coughs> after that is to get back to the center, square yourself up, and just try and make sure you reorganize your body. You know, you just want to make sure you reset the motion. So. You know, just to do it real quick. Say we do, let's say we do one, two, three, four, and we just number them that way. So say we got two, uh, three, uh, and stop. You know, you just, you want to make yourself get get your body back to your position. So every time you see when I got to the center, it's a reset before I made that next move. And then there's also the importance of making sure you control your body on the turns. So say uh, going forward, you see I'm getting downhill, but Say I gotta drop in the coverage. So when I drop in the coverage, I don't wanna do this because that guy's running past me. And you really, you can't see. So what you wanna do is when you get it, open your hips. So you get your hips open. You can see that guy coming down the line. You can create an intercept course and you can also see what is going on the, on the rest of the field. So it lets you see the route combination, lets you see kinda how everything's unfolding. Who wants to try? <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. They got you. Let's do it at kind of half speed, just so you get get comfortable with it. If you want to do A, B, C, D, you want one, two, three, four. All right. So say one, two, three, and four. Okay. So what you what you do, your whole goal again is to start with one. You know, I may start with one. I may start with four. I may start with two, three. It doesn't matter. So. Every, after each cone, we'll do four touches. And like I said, we'll just do the half speed, just to kind of watch your range of motion. All right, so any stance, four. Get there, get touch. You're gonna touch that top of the cone. Two, four, three, one. There you go, there you go. One, two, four, there we go. Get there. See? Now hold it up, hold up. See? You did good. You want to just stay ahead. It'll be nice little workout when you get it. And the thing is, the thing I liked you did is you open your hips when you start to turn. Whenever you get into that drop, you start. Right. But the thing you got to do is w watch your field of vision. Right. Because a lot of times when you came back, you are here. Right. You're trying to find. Okay. You got to be able to see that. So treat it like a bright spot. Okay. And you never really have to take your, your hands off it, you know? You don't really have to take your head off of what you need to see. Right. So it's it's really about expanding your vision. Okay. So it makes you work to, to get a good understanding of saying, I see this, and if I if I, even if you make a wrong read, because we all do it. Right. If you make a wrong read that first step, you can say, Oh, I made it. And get back to it. Okay.